So my lovely wife, my lovely goth goddess. <laughs> <laughs> but of course. <laughs> it is October, the end, the end of October. The season of Samhain, of Halloween. And this month I've dedicated the majority of the videos toward horror and all things dark and creepy. Well, the fucking channel's dark and creepy, so no big surprise. <laughs> None whatsoever. But I'd like to ask you a few questions, my lovely. Sure. Uh, you personally, okay, What what is your attraction toward let's say the dark Victorian Gothic uh, aesthetic that you seem to, I mean, just innately is a part of who you are. What, where do you think that came from? My first thought would have to be from Poe, reading his stuff. Yeah. Um, you know, when I was younger, and that was, you know, many years ago, of course, um, I was I was still I was alone I'm a alone, an alone kind of kid I liked my own company it wasn't I wasn't being creepy or weird and uh, Poe, but you were naturally creepy and weird. yeah <laughs> weren't trying you just, just were yeah <laughs> just the things I was attracted to so uh, for sure Poe what is it what is it the the melancholy aspect of Poe somehow is. Yeah, and and bearing his soul and you know his body of works and his poems, um, that's what attracted to me. Now, the aesthetic, the look. Mm -hmm. uh, how is I mean like okay, Halloween's coming up and a lot of people are going to try to dress. The way you dress all the time. Right. <laughs> Even when I'm gardening. Yeah. With your Black, gothic ball, gra ball gown and yeah. a glass of wine, red wine, and a rake in the other hand. And a 60-pound pit bull That's running right. around the yard. Yep. Yeah. It's quite glamorous. Uh, well, before, before goth was goth... It was simply, for me, um, it was an admiration of, you know, uh, film actors and actresses. Um, I liked their, their, their presentation. I just evolved into that on my own, right? I had to make my own clothes a lot because they weren't selling in stores all those nah. sorts of things. Nah, you, no. <laughs> Unless you dug up a grave. And, yeah. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but... From a deeper level, what do you think's going on? Why is it, why, why is it appealing to you? Do you find calm in it? Absolutely, that's a good way of, of uh, addressing it. I feel, I, I feel very calm. I feel very much just me. Um, that that's hard to describe. It's because it's something that I've just always been. Yeah, bright colors. Oh, I have a problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't. Oh man. It I makes remember. me. It makes me dizzy. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it really does, and there is a psychological explanation for that that I've read on. It's legit. It's legit. Because I can't. I can't wear bright colors. No. Not at all. Not, I mean, the only. I prefer black. Mm -hmm. I can wear black and gray and so on. Uh, I can wear like a burgundy. That works for me. Right. But that's about the only color. I know. <laughs> color, color. That yeah. I can... Handle. Yeah. What is it? Because it looks like blood. Oh, maybe. Yeah. That, I don't know, that dreadful aspect to the color, maybe. Mm-hmm. What I find fascinating about all this in, in terms of what we're talking about is uh, the psychology of, of costume, right? at this time of the year why do people often dress up as what they think is evil but they're wearing what I wear every day <laughs> right? Right. is that what they want do they want to just let themselves fe feel a little bit freer maybe in, you know involve them in some sort of fantasy or role playing for one night yeah because most people are stuck 
it's interesting. Halloween, you put on masks, mm -hmm. you know, but in truth, they're taking off a mask. Oh, yeah. They're taking off that mask of society. Yes. For that evening, for that maybe a couple of days, whatever, yeah. you know, for those events. They're actually taking off a mask. They're mm -hmm. not putting on one. They're no. taking it off. They're allowing their inner self, their uh, a deeper aspect of the self to come out. Yeah. Under the guise of a costume. Like right. Like just, you know, oh, it's just a costume when it's not. What about your own experience with your daughter in trick-or-treating? Oh, or? my God. Yeah, we've had a couple. Um, I had finished taking her at one time, and, and we both answered the door. How old was she? Uh, five or six. And uh, one kid said to me, I like your costume. And I went, oh, it's not a costume, right? He was completely freaked out. Yeah. And another time we had gone to a bunch of houses, and at three or four of them, the, the parent said to my daughter and I, she goes, uh, uh, I like your mom's costume. And by about the third or fourth time, Lee had had enough. And she started stamping her little feet and jumping up and down and almost crying, my mom's not dressed up. 